How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Noah Cavanaugh. I'm a professional soccer player down in Perth, Australia. Today I've got another boot review for you guys. I managed to get my hands on a pair of limited edition boots, which I'm so excited about. Uh, it came through actually a trade for one of the other pair of boots that I reviewed and somebody on Facebook Marketplace said, hey, would love to trade you boots. They're in your size. Are you down? And I was like, absolutely. These are some of my favorite shoes I have ever seen in person before. Well, I haven't seen them in person yet, but I have seen them in pictures. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so today I will be doing my first reaction and on feet video of the brand new Vapor 13 Elite Killian Mbappe Firm Ground. So as opposed to the AG version of the MDS 003, I believe that I did a couple weeks ago. These are the Firm Ground, so the regular sole plate. Um, in my size and these are the I think they they call them pink blast So the rose pink pink blast they come in this black box with the little Nike logo in black and I am so excited to see these I Have I was absolutely obsessed obviously with the way that they looked I think pink boots have like something about them just speaks to me. I just really love them. So without further ado, let's get after this. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I'll open it this way so you guys can see. There you go. Unbelievable. Okay, so these are absolutely stunning. Kind of at a loss for words. Absolutely beautiful shoes. So, put these here and there. Comes with a string sack or string bag, so like this, and then it's got this sort of carbon fibery texture. I can't tell, maybe you can tell in the light, but it's like a carbon fibery texture with the pink swoosh, and then on the back, it's got something in French. To be honest, I have no idea, and then. It's got designed to the exact specifications of Kylian Mbappe with his little logo right there. If you know and speak French, what does that mean? Okay, so cool string bag. Probably won't use them because again, I use boot bags, but goodness gracious, look at these boots. These are just stunning. So, okay, so a few things about the boots that I think, that I think are super, super cool. Uh, first things is they've got this matte pink finish or matte like rose finish on the bottom, uh, sort of the, I guess it would be the sole plate, um, but on the outside and that is just the coolest thing. I'll see if I can get that on camera, but it's the matte pink that's a little darker than the upper is, which I think is such a cool detail. Obviously it's got the white, the different shades of pink, and then it's got the KM killing Mbappe on the tongue. And it's got 93,140. I don't know if that's because that's how many pairs there are, or if this is the number of pairs, or uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. So it's, it's basically a normal vapor, except it's got um, Mbappe's color and logo on it. So then I'll grab a pair of those Dream Speeds. So as you can see, the differences between the sole plates, the Mbappe shoe has that firm ground, really aggressive chevron stud pattern where 
as the Dream Speed has a much more conical stud shape to it. It's the all ground variation. So the shape of the boot is about, is, is, is the same. Um, although there is a noticeable difference between the width of the all ground compared to the firm ground version. So I actually used to wear a pair of firm grounds. They were the, the beige, I believe the beige color. And those were, those were great. I actually wore those at the beginning of my season this year for free mail and, um, enjoyed them. They were a little bit tight on the outside, but I managed to wear them with no problems. Um, Obviously, they've got the little sticker on the back that said, warning, the chrome finish will wear off with use over time. So that's pretty, pretty standard for these types of boots. But holy moly. I mean, these are just absolutely stunning. Uh, fly knit, total fly knit upper. It's got that ACC stuff and uh, polyurethane coating to the outside, just like any normal vapor. Obviously, you guys can go check out the um, dream speed review. I'm not super into the total tech specs. I'm more concerned with, do they fit? Do they look super cool? And can I wear them f consistently over the course of time? So, um, yeah, these are fantastic looking. They're so bright and pink, which I love. I think they're different. They're super fun. And they also remind me of those old, I don't know if they were vapor one or twos, maybe, maybe even Vapor 3s, but I think they were, or Superfly, Superfly 2s or 3s. There was a pair of pink ones that reminds me, these remind me of. Either way, that is sort of my, uh, as you can, guys can tell, I'm a little speechless. I think these are absolutely, like these are boots that I would keep even if I decide not to wear them. Like I'll probably keep these and then maybe sell them a long time from now or just keep these as like in a trophy case, like above my ab above my bed or something, you know? Like I have nothing to do with Kylian Mbappe. I think he's a fantastic player obviously, but like I don't have any personal, like I don't watch Paris games just to watch him. Um, I just think these boots are something special to behold. So. If you guys can get your hands on a pair, would recommend. They are absolutely stunning. I know they sold out pretty quickly, but um, and I got super lucky. So a word about what I said earlier on the sale stuff. So a couple of the pairs of boots I am not actually going to keep because I reviewed them and then decided that I again I was deciding which ones to to keep and which ones not to keep. So I've got the Dream Speeds up for sale. I've got the Phantom GTs in the black and the red colorway up for sale. And then I've got the Puma Ultras up for sale. And the reason the Puma Ultra, so I actually had a comment about this in one of my training videos, I think last week. And the reason I haven't been wearing the Puma Ultras that I reviewed in training is because they're actually a half size too big. So I wear a 9.5 US in a Vapor. I wear a size 9 US in a GT and I actually wear a size nine instead of a 9.5 in the Ultra, but I ended up buying uh, the 9.5. So they're half a size too big and they're brand new right out of the box. I mean, you saw me, I wore them for five minutes on the pitch. Um, so those ones are for sale as well on Facebook Marketplace and a site down here, kind of like offer up in the US, but it's in, uh, it's in Australia. And then, so if you guys are interested, I don't know if that's something I can do here, but I just thought I'd plug it. If you guys are interested in a pair, it's much easier if you DM me at Noah Cavanaugh official, if you think that these would fit you. 9.5 US in a Puma Ultra, size nine US in a Phantom GT, and the Dream Speed are a size 9.5 in US. So all three of those boots are for sale if you want them. Um, yeah, there you go. So let's hop into the on feet portion of the video. I recommend these boots just based on how they look, but uh, I would, I'm excited to try them on to see if they still have that magic in the sole plate because that's one of the things that makes this generation of vapor so, so good is that really aggressive firm ground sole plate. So let's hop into it. 
All right guys, so let's get into the on feet portion of this video. So there are the shoes again. God, what beauties. Okay, get these things out of there. Going to untie these bad boys. So again, last time I tried on a Vapor was with the Dream Speed. So immediately, definitely feel how tight those are as they are Vapors. But to be honest, they feel pretty good. Like they definitely are super snug. Um, but yeah, I mean, Vapors are a very special fit. If you're looking for like the tightest shoe, tightest speed boot on the market, definitely go for the Vapors. Okay, get these laced up quick. Lace them a little looser, just because they're gonna be quite tight on my feet. Okay, there we go. Mbappe shoes on feet. Wow, they are beautiful. I am just so thrilled with how these look. There you go. Get that sole plate action. There's the other side. I mean, again, these are I really do think these are one of the most beautiful boots I've ever seen. So fantastic. And I can definitely tell the difference between the sole plates. So this one being much more aggressive. Both of them definitely have that sensation of like feeling like you're lifting off, like it keeps you on your toes. Um, but these ones are much more forward aggressive. Like the Vapors are definitely meant to go in a, like their, their straight line speed, um, if you will, because they're built like a track spike on the bottom. So most of the, obviously the Chevron studs on the back and kind of right there and there are more for sideways mobility, but a lot of where you press off on these Vapors are meant to go straight forward. So that's just something to keep in mind. They are very, very aggressive in the sole plate area. Um, but my oh my, what fabulous shoes these are. Very, very, very impressed with how these fit. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll actually decide to go against what I said earlier and wear Vapors instead of the Ultras. If they even fit, I don't even know if the size nine fits, but they are on the way. So that is something to keep in mind. Okay, so that is it for the on feet portion of the video. Um, because I have already reviewed these on pitch and I know what they feel like, um, I will probably just get out to the indoor facility um, so I will see you guys out there with these on and I'll do a little kick around with them for a couple minutes, um, but that'll be it. So let's hop into that portion of the video. See you guys soon. All right guys, what's going on? So back at two halves for the on feet portion of the video, the weather's been really terrible recently. So I thought I would just come in the indoor part of the facility, do the on feet portion of the video and again, so excited about these boots. I think they're absolutely stunning. Um, I've still got these little things in them. I expect them to fit pretty much the same as the Vapors that I've worn before. 
um, because they are the same shoe. It hasn't jumped a generation since I last wore them back in December, January time of last year, um, or I guess January 2020. And through, I believe the, the next pair of shoes I got was in April, maybe. So that's kind of the that's kind of the timeline. So that's the last time I wore a pair of vapors in this same generation. So, and yeah, same wearing the same socks is the the studio portion of the the on feet. So just making sure that those are kind of a thinner sock because again, these shoes fit very tightly for a wide footed player. They definitely break in. So obviously, as I know, I've played a bunch of games in, in vapors. I know how they feel when they're on feet in game. Um, and once they break in, they're great shoes, but definitely a snug fit when you first try them on, especially if you don't have super thin feet. Um, and to be fair, the upper is pretty stiff to begin with, so it does take some time to break in. So I'll just get these tied up and grab a ball really quick from the rack and get some first impressions of how these fit and feel. Again, these are a little bit different because these are the firm ground variation. Grab a ball really quick. Here we go. So these are the firm ground, so the stud pattern is much more aggressive, that's for sure. So it's, uh, but I definitely feel light and fast with these. They're pretty fantastic. Excuse the audio if it gets really loud, if I bang it against the wall. Um, yeah, these are, these are nice shoes and they, they do really feel like track spikes they're very aggressive going forward like I feel like I I feel like I want to go incredibly quick with these everything's really yeah very aggressive very fun um, again really good touch on the ball I really like how these are such a raw sensation, like even more so than the Phantom GTs, which to be fair are softer when they're just out of the box, they're much softer. Um, but so these are, these are quite stiff right out of the box because they stretch and mold to your feet so well. Um, but yeah, I mean, what a, what a raw sensation on ball. I actually really, I actually really prefer the way these lacings, this lacing system is set up as opposed to the Phantom GT. That's part of the reason that I really like the Vapors is because they don't have that like weird on the side lacing system. And that was great for certain boots. Um, but the Phantom GT just like doesn't do it very well. I don't know. Like, I, I just don't think that boot should be, I think they need to change that boot up quite a bit to, to make it even compare to something like the vapor um not that they're trying to obviously but it's just it feels to me like they need to be much more intentional with the way that they build that boot so but that's obviously not what this video is about this video is about the on feet portion so keep in mind too i am playing on an artificial surface right now this is a this is like an indoor indoor artificial surface and this is about the quality of what we have back in the u.s for um, artificial pitches like in seattle at the starfire like this is actually nicer than that stuff um, th this is what i would recommend for um, like this is about as grass feeling as you're going to make it have because it's actually longer and it's really nice to play on um, and keep in mind I'm on the firm ground which usually I would have used the MDS so the the other vapors that I that's an AG sole plate so that's actually ideal for this surface these are this is a firm ground stud plate so they're a, they're super aggressive they're really sticky they definitely stick into the surface a lot so I don't know if I'd recommend wearing these boots on this surface um, 
I would definitely do like an all ground variation on this surface, but needless to say, I think you could totally manage it. Obviously I've done it back at home. Like I played it on a, on an artificial surface with my firm ground vapors all the time and had no problems. Um, I just, they're not built for that. So just be aware when you are purchasing a pair, if you predominantly play on all ground, it's actually probably better for the responsiveness of the shoe to get the sole plate that's based for the all ground variation. So that is it for the on feet portion of the video. Again, I am super excited about these shoes. I think they look stunning. I think uh, there's a good chance that I might actually just wear these for preseason and just roll with them. Um, and I know I said earlier in the video that those MDS were for sale, but I actually might keep them. But DM me if you're super interested and then we can figure something out. Because if you guys are really interested in buying them, then okay, cool. Um, no, no problems there. Um, so without further ado, guys, that is it for the video. Thanks so much for joining me today for this review and on feet reaction of the Mbappe uh, Vapor 13 Elites. I am very excited about these boots and again will probably keep these even if I never wear them for games or matches. I just think they are so good looking and yeah I am I am thrilled. I'm so oh one really quick thing before I go the fact that they put the swoosh in the toe again like the big swoosh makes me very happy because that's what vapors were way back when the huge nike swoosh is fantastic so anyway guys make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you got value from this video and as always be awesome take care and i'll see you guys in the next video